Hello and welcome back to another pretty HD video. Today we have another career mode player review at full potential episode. It is Demeroy Gray. Under request, under demand. Now, there is maybe a reason behind the fact that everyone wants to see the English players being reviewed. Now, it's probably because my massive base on this channel is English. I mean... Pretty much everyone who subscribed to me is English. There is a range of nationalities, which is nice to see, but the majority are English, which I suppose is fine. I'm, I'm not really bothered. Of course, I speak English. It makes sense. I do a lot of my career modes in England, but of course, I do want to venture out somewhere else for my roads of glory. So, you know, it, it does sort of make sense, doesn't it? I've done a Birmingham, a Spurs and an Everton career mode and a lot of their fan bases, of course, have been English fans. So, a lot of people, um, uh, they tend to do better anyway, want the English players to review. Now, I'm planning to do a few English players, then um, maybe sort of move on to a few other uh, players, because the English players tend to do better because they're in the news more, because they're more hyped by the media, etc, etc. But, of course, the players like Laporte um, still do well, but not as well as the likes of Cray, uh, the likes of Berahina who did excellent, Ibe, etc, etc. Now here we have Gray, and he's very, very good at start off. Of course, he's a Birmingham City player, and, um, of, well, it makes sense why I've had quite a few requests for him, considering I did a Birmingham career mode, it sort of links. And he, uh, he he's a very bright prospect. Great acceleration and great speed, awful, awful physicals though um i mean what i mean by physical is literally physical so body strength and uh, jumping a lot of his vision and his mental are also bad but when you move him on and his total progression he uh, his strength does improve uh, slowly but surely and it seems to improve dramatically it seems on career mode this year as we've gone through i've tried to find common uh, things that occur to sort of see how players grow and it seems players grow quite consistently until their rating or their singular stat hits over 80 so in this case strength was only 38 which means to get to 70 strength which isn't bad for a winger I mean 70 strength of a winger at the end of his uh, not at the end of his career but a pretty much full potential I'll take that's pretty good he isn't an awful pufter like he is but forwards of course but his strength improves dramatically almost doubles in fact it almost very almost doubles it goes up over 35 or almost 35 so when you see that i think it goes up 32 doesn't it of course um when you see that or is, oh, is it 42 sorry bad maths i mean i'm not really that bad at maths but god knows that was awful he's Strength improved massively because it was bad from the start. However, his acceleration only improved by 5 because it was already 89 at the start. That's why it is a bit sort of... That's basically the growth rate in career mode. Now, if you do move on to his skill attributes, you can see, oh, damn, this is where he becomes the player that is so awesome. Because before... At the start of career mode on the roster, which I tested him on which is his 84 rated roster of course at the beginning of FIFA 15 before he had all his potential boost his potential was only 77 and his roster had a 62 rated gray but the potential this time is 80 and his roster is 70, 64 rated you can see the dramatic increase this this is really the area which makes him the winger that he becomes because his ball control is just simply excellent it improves dramatically his crossing well that is also excellent that is key for a winger of course crossing it makes sense and that really does improve dribbling as well even finishing is up there finishing improved way more than dribbling the dribbling pretty much added 10 finishing pretty much added 20 so um you see the sort of same principle here as sort of stats seem to catch up with each other and balance out over time um now my theory at the beginning of FIFA 15 was that they 
grow consistently, but here it does seem that they sort of balance out as time progresses. Of course, with defensive stats, not so much. Marking only goes up by 12. But his shot power improves quite dramatically as well, and a massive, massive spike in long shots as that improves over um, 19. His penalties also improves a whole 20 stats, which again seems very reoccurring. It, you can sort of tell where he's got his plus 19 stat from because a lot of his lower stats have improved by that much. Then a lot of his higher stats have improved by a little bit. Of course, his best skill attribute before his uh, improvements and potential was, of course, his dribbling, which was 73. That also improved very well. So now, overall thoughts. I've given this guy a five star. Now, that is debatable. That is incredibly debatable. In fact, so, sorry, I might just hit the desk there. But that is a bit of a debatable one because, quite frankly, this guy only reaches 83. And I say only 83 is a great, great place to be as a winger. Of course, it's a great, great rating, to be honest. But you've got to think about this guy and you've got to think about his starting rating. He starts off as a 64 rated player, which in my opinion... He's only really good enough for a two to three star team. At Birmingham, he's a, a three and a half star team, three star team, and he's getting into the first team in real life. I think maybe this guy is slightly bad, worse off from the start because I put second tier club there just in case you're in Germany or in Spain or in Italy where they don't have the third or fourth tier. But in England, you can get this guy with a fourth tier club. And um, you can see that he's normally around 600,000 to 2.2 million value. So you will have to pay quite a lot for him. But again, like I already said, his growth plus nine. He beats his potential by, by three whole stats. And just slightly lower in his USP. You can see that I say he's easy to buy slash loan. Now, Buying not so much, but loan, he's easy to get because on FIFA, he's not really in Birmingham's first team. Now, although he's in the default lineup, Birmingham, for some reason, don't like him on career mode. They like to loan him out. So he's really easy to get with a League 2, League 1 club on loan. Of course, he would fit into a championship club. And, well, he grows so well. He's perfect for a road to glory. 64 rated at the beginning. That's what you expect in a road to glory. 83 rated at the end. He's one of them cult heroes, if you like. He'll join your club, he'll develop, and he'll be with you for the whole series or the whole career mode. Of course, I'm thinking if you put this on YouTube. But, yeah, for the whole career mode, he'd be there. And, he, like I said, he'd grow ro loads. He fits into a road to glory career mode. His physicals improve, which is also very important. Um, his physicals do improve, like his strength. And his mentals improve as well, which I couldn't fit in. But mentals and physicals improve massively. I think the mental attributes are also very important um, towards him being a winger. But overall, his skill attributes are probably the key in that. I mean, I, I sort of regret putting physicals down there. It really is his skill attributes which make him the skillful, slick player that he does become. And the goal scorer as well. He's like a great choice for any second division team or lower. And uh, what I mean by that is, like I said, Championship League 1, League 2, or Bundesliga 2, or Serie B, or, um, of course, Liga Adelante. So, overall, this guy, I give him a five-star because Gray, he, he's not only such a good grower, he just plays so well. And every player I seem to review at the moment seems to be doing so bloody well. Now, a lot of you are also requesting players like De Bruyne now. Um, De Bruyne, he is a good option, but the thing is with doing a player like De Bruyne, he's already 84 rated. Now, this guy, De Bruyne, can reach 90 easily, but, you know, we'll see what happens there and we'll move on to that later. I'm also thinking of doing Dost as well. This guy, I would recommend, Demarai Gray. He is just brilliant. He, like I said... Growth plus 19, you're not going to get that very often. I think one of the only players who needed that is uh, Simon Scuffet, which is what you expect. But the fact that he's low rated almost works in your favour because if he was slightly higher rated, he wouldn't really grow that much. He wouldn't really fit into anyone's team. But the point is, he fits into a League 2, League 1 team very, very well, which means he 
reaches his potential and grows beyond what you'd expect him to grow, even though with a higher team he wouldn't do that. 